Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to hit that like button. Maybe leave a comment. Those really help out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and there is a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can check out the current price point, see if it's on sale, and all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product is a home projector by a company called XIDU. This is the Philo Beam. This is the box it's going to come in once it arrives. It's a nice little box here. And it comes with all these little parts and pieces. So let's go over those when you open it up. First off, you are going to get the power cord. They will include a HDMI a cable. You will get a um, video, analog video cable if you want to use that. Then they are, of course, going to include a user manual that will tell you how to operate it, how to set it up. But we're going to go over all those details so you can see the settings and see if this is the right projector for you. Now, in addition to that, they will, of course, include a remote control that takes two AAA batteries that you can use to operate it. And then they give you a little package here that's all in this little bag that is going to keep your device nice and clean. So they include some lens cleaning tissue. They're going to include this little device, which has a slider for a fine brush and a more um, thicker, coarse brush. They include this little bulb, Eric, that will fill up and blow dust away. And then in this little bag, they include a standard lens micro cleaning cloth. And then naturally itself, they will include the projector itself. So as you can see, this has this nice copper color. They do have multiple color projectors. I really like the copper one. It kind of gives it this little classy uh, look to it. Uh, you can see on the front here is the lens. Now this projector does support up to 4K, but it is a 1080p projector. You can see right here, this is for where the remote control will activate. On the top, it has all these little buttons here that make it easy to control and operate the menu if you want to control it directly to the device. It, you really feel the buttons so when you press them, so you know that you've done it. It's not a digital uh, control pad, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it, it might, is it working? They're all right here on the front, um, or on the top, I should say. On the back side here, you have the where you plug it in, you have two USB plugs, then you have your um, plugs for your analog and audio, and then you have an HDMI uh, plug to link that up. And then right in this little door here is the filter um, in case it gets dusty. On the side is how you focus it. And then on the bottom here, they do include a um, little rubber pads that keep it from sliding around and then a uh, mount, so in case you mount it on a tripod or ceiling. What this projector does not have, it does not have an angle adjuster that you may see on it. As you can see, there is no device here to adjust the angle up or down. So if that is important to you, this does not feature that. But that's the ins and outs of this. So let's go ahead and uh, start showing you some settings and footage of it. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the main menu and it is super bright because I don't have any of the windows closed in this room. We're right next to a window, as you can see to my right, and you can clearly see all the vivid colors of the menu. Now it's easier to control it with the remote, in my opinion. Okay, under the menu settings, you have the Wi-Fi to hook it up to your home network. You have the Bluetooth setting to hook it up to like an external Bluetooth speaker. The about will tell you about the device. You have a language setting, a date setting, and then if you want to factory reset it and take it back to its original settings. Now, the bottom one is the projection image settings. So this is going to allow you to adjust the viewpoints of the projector itself and it has a four point keystone which is great about this is if you are not straight on your wall you can adjust the picture so that way it looks perfect i really like this keystone feature so you can connect with the 5.0 bluetooth settings to an external speaker which is super easy 
or you can use the built-in 10 watt speakers for stereo sound that it has. It also has the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Your contrast ratio is 13,000 to 1, and it puts out 550 ANSI lumens. I'd also like to point out the ideal screen size is 40 inches to 300 inches, and of course it can zoom all the way from 100% down to 50%. Overall, I'm a big fan of how bright and easy it is to use this 1080p projector that is also 4K ready. So if you are in the market for a home theater projector, I do totally recommend checking this one out. It makes movie night outside um, absolutely amazing for us. Of course, you can use it in your living room and anywhere else in your house, office, etc. And that is basically it. So if there was something I forgot to cover that you're curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond. Be sure to check out the link in the description. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.